What is up guys? Welcome to another video. I hope that you guys are all doing good. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about the whole Kai Sanat situation. I don't know if you guys know who Kai Sanat is, but he's a extremely big YouTuber in America. So let's get straight into today's video, but do not forget to like, comment and share because it helps us out in the algorithm. Kai Sinet finds himself right in the middle of another serious <coughs> situation, this time involving someone that's with him all the time, Damn. his very own cameraman. This is a crazy situation, so I'm not gonna waste a lot of time, bro. We gotta get right into this. Mm. Now, yesterday, a Twitter account by the name of Uno2Dolo posted a Twitter thread about how Kai Sinet's cameraman, Chris V, who goes yeah. by the name Chris Media on Instagram, flirted and eventually sent explicit messages to her, even after knowing she was a minor in okay. 2021. This Chris mm. is not to be confused with AMP Chris Next Door, and Complex made a huge error covering the situation. Damn. Chris would flame Complex on Twitter saying, Complex, delete this pic of me right now and take down this article. Do research before you type something mm. up. It's not cool. Complex would delete that but article. But that's also crazy because all of these like media corporations don't really care about these black streamers. They just put out garbage. It's like when they, when they say, oh, this rapper did this or this DJ, he's a DJ, he's a rapper. I, I was reading like uh, something about what Charlemagne the God's allegations. Then they said, ra I think they said rapper or DJ uh, Charlemagne, you know, wanted for the R word. So it's it's crazy. But I just think it's very disrespectful that they don't even take the time to actually research it. They just shoot it out apologizing in the next one saying correction a previous version mm. of this article included a misidentification of the person being accused complex would like to apologize for any confusion that this may have caused great it doesn't take two seconds to do your research when twitter gives you 90 percent of the information you need bro complex this is very <sighs> you gotta do better so in a thread exposing Kaisa Nett's cameraman, it starts off by saying, I wanted to keep this private, but no one reached back. And a person DM Kai Sinet saying, Hi Kai, I recently seen a clip about you speaking on the Ava slash Mr. B situation. I wanted to let you know that Chris, your cameraman, is definitely a pedo too. I remember coming across him on me TV while I was on Discord sharing my screen to my friends. And they told- Oh wait, what does this have to do with Kai Sinet? I don't understand. I mean, if his- cameraman is texting a minor what does it have to do with him yes it's it's his circle and all of that but it's like you can't control the people around you that's impossible like if you have what 10 people working for you and someone goes drunk driving and hits a person it's it's nearly impossible for you to predict that it's like working with people it's always going to be human error so it's like I find that very weird that they're trying to do the exact same thing with Mr. Beast as well. I mean, if you look at what Mr. Beast situation, yes, I understand that what they were close friends and he probably, I don't know if he knew about it or somebody told him about what happened, but I still think that you can't dictate what other people do. I mean, people have free will. So I, I find that a little bit manipulative that if somebody does something wrong in your circle, then you did it wrong as well. It's like, that's weird. You should not be punished for other people's mistakes. That his name was Chris and he's AMP's cameraman. I said, hi, Chris, which got his attention because he was curious how I knew his name. Mm. He asked for my age and I lied and said 19 because my friends told me to and I just went. That's crazy. I, I hate the fact that, okay, now I don't have all the information, but a woman or a girl can lie about that with it. He asked for my Insta and I gave it. As soon as he DM'd me, I told him my real age because I know that's not really cool to lie about that. And from there, I thought he was gonna stop answering, but it led to him being down for us to 1v1 on COD, which I thought was fine. Later on, it turned out to him being flirtatious, then texting me some wild shit you shouldn't say to a minor. During this time, I just turned 17 and I am now 19. This happened from December 2021 to February and March 2022. I will gladly show you all the screenshots I have to prove this, we also used to FaceTime. Remember there was a time he passed the phone to you and I was telling you that I could beat you on 1v1s. I don't know if this helps to remember me. In a few of these screenshots, it says, I wasn't kidding. I actually want to get to know you. Then a girl says, oh, you cool, but respectfully, I'm actually 17 and my friends told me to say I'm 19. But you know, I got to let you know the truth. He said, nah, that's crazy. I respect you telling me though, no cap. She said, yeah, I don't want to do you like that. He said, you cool though, good vibes, lol. I was serious though, he was 19, lol. And she said, oh, you had me confused though. And she said, what you mean? Then he says, I'm down. 
what I'm saying? You want some 1v1 or uh, on some friend type stuff, whatever. I don't know what she was asking about, but like, come on, you see all these G's at the end. I would not continue to be flirtatious, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm playing 1v1 with you on COD and I'll just leave it at that. I understand why she kept texting back because he said he wanted to 1v1 on COD, which I definitely understand, you know what I'm saying? Okay, some of these messages are getting are about to get crazy, so I'm gonna put them on the screen. They're gonna be blurred out, but I'm going to be reading them. Once he got comfortable, at first I ignored it and brushed it off as a 17 year old, I didn't know what to do, and I wasn't going to start some shit, but it just started getting weirder from there. Now in these messages, I'm just gonna just read them out, just, just get ready uh yeah bro like i could just imagine rubbing my blank on your blank i put my whole blank down your blank right now and then slowly blank you while i blank you i'm so effing blank oh my that. god what are you gonna do about it you want to let me blank you like right now right now blank probably dumb blank is it then this man proceeds to send videos to her as he's saying this bro it's it's like what are we on bro like this is a 17 year old bro and then she said i started to distance myself in a way that it wasn't too noticeable it says nah you really don't f with me no more and another message it says why you never pick up he tried to facetime her my guy <laughs> bro she's 17 bro you know what's so crazy right when it comes to these text messages and it really doesn't matter but you can see that she has taken away all of her text messages. Everything which she replied, because no one is just sending, 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 and you're not getting any reply. Like, if I'm texting a girl and she doesn't reply, okay, I leave it alone. I'm not gonna be sending and sending and sending. And say, look, he's just sending, sending, sending. That means that she took away a lot of text messages, took like a screenshot, so she can't implicate herself and that was definitely not ducking the smoke not only did he address the situation but he actually revealed that chris has been fired here's what kai said for those who don't know my cameraman chris that helped me with matter my streams matter my tech shit matter my shit apparently just got caught talking to a minor who was 17 years old and it's just fucking annoying when shit happened and shit come up my name every time bro i get connected and you know this is what's so crazy because this guy really put in the work when you do something like what kai did you you're sacrificing everything you're putting everything on the line and when you bet big and you win big people have a problem with that people have a problem so that's why i also want to say this just put this out there if you see anything which is coming from, oh, Yambo Davidson, that's not me. I'm very low key. I don't write to anybody. I don't like, so don't fall for any of these scams. Like, oh my God, Yambo Davidson's trying to sell me a course. I, no, that's not me. I hardly have like social media, like I just YouTube almost. Cause this, this can be taken away like this. And I've been putting in like three years. Kai Sanat has been putting in, I don't know, even more like seven, eight years. And he's just working, working, working. People are out partying. People are out having fun. He's just working. Really, really putting in the work. But then again, at the end of the day, that's just how it is. People hate you when you're climbing. They want to pull you back. And if they can do it with anybody around you, they will do that. So... I really hate it and I really feel for Kai Sanat because he, he didn't do anything. In these situations, come relax, bro. See, she showed me every single thing. Um, I asked her to confirm the iMessage, to confirm the number. It's confirmed. All right? All that shit is confirmed. And I'm just sick and tired of having to do shit like this because it's like, they know how people are not just seeing something or like an age or something and just saying and just stopping you feel me it was just some messages that it's, it's like a, it's some messages that looks fucking crazy bro you feel me i'm not i'm gonna keep it i'm not sugarcoating shit the shit look fucking crazy bro yesterday we did a whole topic on the whole kai Sinet, uh with his um uh, cameraman essentially you know being involved in texting with uh, a 17 year old <sighs> round two okay. of Creators being creepy with underage people. Again! <sighs> An idiot! After he found out she was 17, first he thought, you know, she claimed to be 19, he found out she was 17. He still kept texting her adult stuff. 
and ha as a grown man, you know, even Kai crying on stream, everyone felt some type of way, the internet's coming, pet all this stuff. And I do a bit of reading afterwards because I couldn't find this information in any of the, like hundreds of news articles I was skimming through. What information were you looking for? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this guy was like 20 when he was texting the girl. The 17 year old? He was 20. Okay. You're not supposed to. Yeah. Are you? A 20 year old texting a 17 year old? Ah, man. <laughs> you know, the perception of people. You're not supposed to. I understand that people are making a big deal out of it. Preach is right. You're not supposed to. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If if she's 17 and she's about to hit 18, text her when she's 18. You have to go with what the country says. Uh, I'm not, I don't okay. care. I I understand the feeling. I, I, I uh, the way everyone, the way the articles were written, it was like this motherfucker <laughs> was 25. The way Kai was crying, yeah, I thought this dude was like gotta be mid 20s to late 20s at least. As a, as a, actually, I think I've heard he was 25. I've saw saw that somewhere that he was someone claiming that he was 25. S some people were definitely Some people were that. claiming were alleging that. But then again, even 20. I mean, if you're not supposed to do it. Okay, but beyond that, you're not supposed to do it. There's plenty of things we're not supposed to do. You're 100%. not supposed to speed. 100%. People still do it. The uh, question and, is... And what happened? But, 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 but there's a difference between you, you know, going over the speed limit and then you going 200 on the highway. Sure. The two things are... Dra it's crazy that Abba is even trying to make this point because we're not having a conversation about, like, age gap. We're having a conversation of the age of consent in that specific place where they're living. So if it's 18, it's 18. There's no discussion. If it's two 18 year olds which choose to do something, that's great. If it's an 18 year old and a 40 year old which choose to do something, hey, it is what it is. No one can say anything about it, but they decided it's 18. So I don't understand. I don't understand the argument here where he's like, oh, it, the age gap is not that much doesn't matter if the age gap is not that much doesn't matter the law of the land says you're not supposed to do that so don't do it basically different 100%. if you're going 120 which is still technically illegal in a lot of places okay nobody really cares it's like the 19 the 17 year old with the call me carson situation remember that situation yeah. everyone came down on call me carson right because he was a 19 year old texting a 17 year old i'm like i don't give a fuck that's the age gap really it's wild bro listen i think the internet is collectively a little bit lost in mm. an effort to you know stop preds who are going after young people especially dudes who are going after their super fans or going after women who are drastic or men who are drastically younger than them or you know with age difference how can i understand a two to three age in most places this is incredibly legal including the state where this happened but beyond the legal aspect which i don't really care because i don't think that was the central point of this conversation and if it is for you then you have nothing to talk about because this is legal for most places they have romeo and juliet law set up for this but also in the state where this happened it's 100 percent legal but moving past the legal aspect is a two to three age year difference that crazy it's not it's not cause so, my, so, my, so, my my parents and most of y'all parents my parents got five years apart okay that's where i'm going to stop when it comes to this whole video um if i'm being honest guys even discussing these topics just makes me feel uncomfortable and also this right we are sitting here right now having these conversations on the internet great right but we're not the moral police what i think if somebody does something wrong go to the police don't put out a video exposing Kai Sinat and doing what? No, go to the police. If this woman or this girl thought that what this cameraman did was wrong, then she should have gone directly to the police.